Hi! I figured I would keep this week space themed and today I want to talk to you about all my favourite space things which will vary from jewellery to music to accessories to books and films. I think I've always liked all things space but I feel like recently the media has just been a huge enabler. I want to start off with this possibly not the most exciting thing. It is a little oyster card slash bank pass holder that I got from Paper Chase for only £5. It's got a little space rocket on it and some planets on the back and on the inside you can obviously keep your oyster card or your ID. The material is really like nice and durable too, so you can find this one at Paper Chase. Moving on to my phone case, which as some of you already spotted in previous videos. And it looks like this, and it is from a web shop from a girl who I think is still a university student. It is called Psy with a double H design. I'll put a link to it in the description. I saw this one and I was sold immediately. It says, I trust the universe. I like having things that work together well from different brands. So this is a slightly more expensive version that she has to offer, which is £18. I think I've had it for over a month now. The black paint is wearing off a little bit because I'm putting it face down on the table. In general I'd say I'm very happy with it so I'll put a link to that in the description too. There's this amazing album by a band called Public Service Broadcasting and the album is called The Race for Space and what they've done is they've used these amazing clips from radio and TV about the space race and they've sort of remixed all of them and added lots of cool music. It is such an exciting album to listen to. It's really fun to listen to in the right order and each of them have their own story and so if you want to know a little bit more about the sound bites you're hearing you can obviously Google some stuff. Then I've mentioned them before but I figured they'd be the perfect fit for this video obviously. It is EE -E Jewelry, this amazing web shop that does like dinosaur and space themed necklaces and other kinds of jewellery. I've bought my own necklaces there, they've also sent me some samples in the past. I'm wearing this space shuttle at the moment and then there's this little moon man. This combination one has a planet which I'm assuming is the earth and a space man and a space shuttle and this is the one I got most recently. They were putting all these new ones up online and I was just like a hawk went straight for it. It looks like this. I really like the chain on it. So this badge is to commemorate what I think is the Astro 2 launch and it has the names of the astronauts on it. Unfortunately this is a one-off piece so you can't buy it anymore but they constantly put up lots of cool new stuff on the website so go check them out. Okay more space stuff. I've got some films and some books. Obviously we've got The Martian. I posted my review earlier this week of both the book and the film. Love them both. If you want to know more about it go watch my earlier video but yeah this is some quality space stuff. Then there is a young adult book trilogy that I've talked about in the past and I've done reviews of in the past. It is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is the first in the trilogy. This cover is just so amazing. It's actually the inside of the cover because the real cover looks like this. It's about a spaceship that's going off to discover a new planet. There's 300 people inside that have been frozen. The main character of the book, her parents are sort of scientists and they, they've been frozen to go on the ship and she's made a decision to go with them. Obviously to keep the ship going for 300 years there is a crew on board and the crew is supposed to wake everyone up once they get to the planet which will obviously be several generations later and this story is about what happens when Amy gets woken up I think about 70 or 80 years too early. I actually think the writing for this is okay but I really just love the setting and the characters and I do hope they make it into a film one day. Speaking of films, Galaxy Quest. Oh my god I love this film. It used to be on Dutch TV all the time. In the end I just decided to buy the DVD. This film came out in 2001 it has Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, and Alan Rickman as some of the main characters, which you can see on the front here. They basically used to be in this sci-fi TV show that I think is supposed to be Star Trek. And now it's like 20 or 30 years later and they're making their money by going from convention to convention and it's all a bit sad. And then the sort of main guy, Tim Allen, uh, gets approached by what he thinks is a group of people trying to get him to another gig, another convention. Turns out that they're actually aliens who think that the episodes of the TV show are actually historical documents and they genuinely need their help in outer space. It's really funny, it's really bad, but I just, I love watching this film. I've seen it so many times, so see if you can get a hold of a copy. Oh wait, I forgot a book. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Obviously, some of the best space humor around. It's about a guy called Arthur Dent who is living a pretty boring life and then one day he finds out that his planet is about to be destroyed and that one of his friends, Ford Prefect, is actually an alien who can help him hitch a ride onto a Vogon spaceship. It's only the beginning of the adventure. If you haven't heard of this before, my god, are you in for a surprise? This edition, by the way, says DIY cover, stickers included on the inside. So there's a bunch of stickers here that you can put on the cover if you want. I'm gonna end with my all-time favourite, Firefly. Got some bad news, it got cancelled after one season. 
so this is that one season. They did make a film afterwards sort of wrap up some storylines, it's called Serenity. Ever since I discovered this in I think 2009, I've been hooked. If you guys watch Rosianna's videos, I used to live with Rosianna, she watches The West Wing just on repeat all the time. That's what this is for me. It's a space western earth was too full, people had to leave and they spread over the galaxy and they're sort of building new homes on different planets. And it's like the Wild West, sort of stretching the border further out into the universe. Written by Joss Whedon, starring Nathan Fillion. It's about this ragtag crew on a ship trying to make ends meet, doing some illegal stuff, some non-illegal stuff. There is just nothing that I don't love about this TV show. The pilot is two hours. And it's not my favorite episode, so sometimes I will suggest to people that they should maybe start with the second episode and see what they think. Okay, so those are some of the space things that I absolutely love. If you have any space recommendations, I would love to hear about them in the comments. I will talk to you guys later. Doei!